Evening viewers, welcome to Oxton Cricket Club. We're here tonight with our club captain, Lee Dixon, after a great day at the club. Lee, how do, how do you think today went? Um, a, a slight twinge of disappointment because I thought we were the uh, only side really looking to get a positive result out of the game. Uh, really excited to see our overseas player, Guyan Fernando, arrive. Um, and I think he's going to be a really good addition for us. Um, also, you know, as there was lots of positives as a side. You know, obviously the bowling unit he did really well to restrict their uh, their top bat, Glenn Botticello. He did only get seventy, but you know we really restricted his score. And uh, as a as a batting unit, uh, you know, bringing the youngster Gary Dixon up the order uh, at forty nine, I think you know he could really you know do a good job for the first on the academy. You know, uh, interesting the decision. So talk us through that. Uh, basically, um, you may not be aware, Gary scored a thousand runs in 1995. He's mentioned that. He, before. He's mentioned it a few a few times, uh, and basically, we've with uh, the juice and Stokes not being available, uh, we've been able to. You know, we've had a, a bit of a hole in there, and I filled in there last week myself and enjoyed it. But I just felt today that we needed someone, you know, with a bit of experience up there, who was prepared to flail the bat mm. and. Uh, Put us on the and front foot. Say quick singles, which is not something we're good at. Well, we, you know, me, me dad is, you know, or Gary, sorry, uh, is not um, renowned for his uh, prowess between the wickets, but he certainly got it going today with uh, Griff, uh, the calendar boy, who also looked very good again. He did. And just talk us through your assessment then of uh, Guyan, our overseas player. Well, he, he obviously looks like he's got, you know, a, a yard um, with his bowling. Uh, obviously, conditions today weren't ideal for him. Um, but what we'll say is I look forward to seeing him on a, on a quick bouncy one mm -hmm. and uh, to see you know, how he uh, got stuck into the overseas player as well. It was really quite exciting because obviously we haven't had that, you know, we haven't had that overseas player. And he did well because he bowled quite quick, didn't he? He's, he's downhill with the wind, he looked good. Well, obviously uh, the other opening bowler, Andy Burley, who's had basically choice spends with the wind for the whole time you know, he's ever played at this club and when he went round the world pro in as well. Spoiled, really. He was spoiled. Um, but he did a fantastic job into the wind, so he's probably unlucky to come off after bowling 14 overs. Um, but, you know, I felt that, you know, being a new player at the club, 